Hey guys, it's Daryl and Aaron on, on Travel, Travel with, with D&E. &E. So we're still uh, on our journey on the NCL Panama Canal 11 day cruise. Now yesterday we hit Cozumel and that was our last port of call and did an excursion. So today, which is basically day 11, is an at sea day. So we're going to be going from where? Cozumel to? Back to, we're heading back to Miami. Yep. Unfortunately, we're heading back to Miami. But it, it has to happen at some point, so why not today? But what that means is we got a, a full day of activities we can do um, because we're at sea. There's no excursion, so. So, if you watched the previous video, you saw we once again had to move our clocks forward an hour. Yep. And we were tired, so yep. guess what? We overslept. We overslept, yep. So didn't we, set the alarm or didn't? No. Yep. So we missed breakfast, which was okay. Um, we got a little bit of rest. We've been having some fun nights and days, so that's okay. It's all in the experience. Yeah, and again, it's, uh, it's no big deal. You do your thing when you're on a cruise. You do your thing. Absolutely. And uh, so we did our thing. We slept in. We, you know, you do all these excursions and these at sea days. There's activities that go on at night, late sometimes, and you get tired. Again, you do your thing when you're on a cruise, and we slept in. But we did hit the Garden Cafe at 1130 and got a doggone good lunch. And that's one thing. Had we eaten lunch in the Garden Cafe I mean, we, we've been basically eating breakfast and dinner, but I don't... Yeah, typically lunch is not something... We've maybe done a couple times, but generally we don't... We, we'll, we'll, we'll feed, <laughs> we'll eat in the morning for breakfast. And fill up. Fill up, and then uh, dinner, once you get back from your excursion. Um, but a lot of times we'll just, you know, we'll just do things all throughout the day and then not eat again until dinner. Right. So, yeah, so again... it was buffet style it had indian mexican american asian um your your choice um not only uh, that was a long you italian know, yeah. an italian um and then, then they have the the soup area they have the salad area they have the fruit area they have the desserts area so mm -hmm. the choices are <sighs> unbelievable for this buffet yeah so we went ahead and ate and then uh of course after you eat especially during the middle of the day, we like to go and do a little walking around mm -hmm. um, on the promenade is, is a good deck to do that. And uh, that's to what, deck seven? Mm -hmm. But in this case, we wanted to go ahead and film the entire boat. It was uh, one thing we wanted to do to be able to show you guys, you know, you say you're going on the gym. Well, we're going to show you what the gym is, go through each deck and kind of lay things out just so you can better understand it. So that's what we did. We started filming. And uh, there was a, a high wind advisory, I guess. Um, and then they actually had some decks that were um, roped off just because of the super high winds. Yeah. But, and uh, But thankfully, we had gotten those decks on the first or second day of our cruise. So right. we still have them. So anyhow, so we kind of spent that during, you know, after lunch, uh, early afternoon, we did that and went and filmed around different things around the boat. And then about 3.45, we headed for the spinnaker. So there's a special occasion each at sea day. You, know, you probably heard us say that on a previous episodes, but each at sea day, they play bingo. And uh, we have a good time doing that. And we won the, uh, on the first sea day, at sea day, we actually won one of those games. Um, made $146. Anyhow, uh, so we want to make sure we get there early. So it paid for... We pay for a couple more uh, bingo trips, and uh, they have different packages and how many bingo cards you can get, and they have these again pool raffles and stuff like that. So, one thing you got with all the bingo cards and all that each time was some raffle tickets, and so that's the big day. Um, the big day is here at sea, the at sea day in the Spinnaker, where you play bingo. And this is this is final bingo. So if you wore your bingo t-shirt today, you got extra. Extra of those raffle tickets, yeah. yeah. This is the biggest so that was cool. So what you do is uh, they had a little, you know, one of the uh, drums you turn uh, for the raffle. So you, they're the two-part tickets. So you got a number, so the same number on both sides. Rip them up, take them apart, put them in the, in the uh, drum there. And then after the second game, they would pull a winner. And it was a pretty good prize. It was uh, what, 
was it five day, four night Caribbean cruise on NCL? Can't beat that. Except that we didn't win. But and uh, since nobody had won the jackpot for the previous three games, the jackpot was up to four thousand dollars. So four thousand five hundred. And yeah, and that's the jackpot only applies the first forty-seven numbers playing the blackout on the card. It was probably pretty hard to get at forty-seven, but anyhow, we we did pretty good. I had I had two hands that were within, I guess, two or three uh, numbers. Within three, yeah. You, you on that had, blackout. So Daryl, uh, Daryl was super close on two different cards. Um, so we had what nine. Number two, nine yeah. cards. So on two of his cards that he was watching, he he was watching a certain number of cards. I was watching a certain number of cards because we wanted to make sure we were on it. Um, and he had two actual cards. He was um, three away from both sides. So yeah, hey, that's the way it goes. It's fun. That's what it's all about. Got close. And and we got to win a little money. So. Uh, not this time. So also we had been collecting, um, part of the package was the t-shirt and those raffles, but they also had a couple of instant win. Um, yeah. You um, pull open the card, if it had three, you won a certain amount. And so over the time we had won a big whopping $7, so. Gotta go cash that out, man, every seven counts. So since it was a gambling um, game, you had to go to the casino, and you did get cash. It didn't, any of the winnings, the people, like when we won, the hundred, well, when Daryl won 140 we had to go to the casino. You got cash for all the bingo. It didn't go towards your online or your um, your uh, cruising account. You actually got cash for any of the things that had to do with bingo. Yeah, and and actually, I would say it was not me winning it. We won it because you spent it. <laughs> there you go. You spent most of it, probably. So anyhow, uh, after that, we uh, had dinner. And we went to the Magenta Room, yes. the restaurant. So that was our first time going to the Magenta. It um, serves the same food as the Grand Pacific, which is the big dining room. This is a smaller, uh, cozier uh, dining, but it served the same exact menu. It's still complimentary. It's your, it's your sit down, not not dressy, but your sit down um, dinner that you have. You order and they bring it out. You know, it's different than the Garden Cafe, and it's good in those ways. It's. Uh, it takes a little bit longer than the Garden Cafe, but it is good food as well. We had a good time. And, uh, and a tip uh, for anybody who hasn't cruised in a while or hasn't cruised, um, if you want three things off of the appetizer, if you you can order that if you want yeah. two of the entree so you're not locked into just an appetizer and just an entree and a dessert, um, you can still order more of the items um you're not held or restricted to just one of each but you know so you might as well if there's a couple appetizers you want to taste the appetizers usually are not huge portions right yeah. for example like in the orchid garden the asian fusion place you ask for pot stickers and they bring you three yeah, I mean, give, give me six maybe or something like that but you can say give me two orders of that mm -hmm. and hot and sour soup you know you're good on your on your appetizers so you can do the same thing in magenta and so forth. Yeah. Um, if you wait and order again, it's literally they have to go and put the order in and get it. So um, just put your put your couple appetizers in if you think you'll enjoy them and try them and share them. And, and that's, uh, that, that's a lot of people doing that. So people who had several, you know, in their their party, they ordered a, a you know a variety, and that way everybody could taste something um, off the appetizer. Yeah. The, so that was good, and then uh, we came out of there and went to the uh, the Shakers Martini Bar. Is that what it was called? So I got, uh, I love the Espresso Martini, but... Man, it was expensive. So, our, so on our drink package, um, it was um, any drink that was $15 or less, and they were $15, so you all had to shell out a big $3. So you know, see what I mean about the bingo winning? I mean, that three dollars just disappears like that. And then uh, right next to it is the whiskey, and there was a beer um, bar, so Daryl ordered him a beer, and we headed back on. Um, so we grabbed our drinks and we headed back to the stateroom. Um, we needed to pack up um, and have our luggage out of outside the door by ten. So we did our flight wasn't until later on the evening 7 15 ish 
Um, so we had the choice of carrying all of our luggage off the boat or we could put it out for the cabin steward and they would bring it down for us. So we chose yeah. to do that. Um, if you are in a hurry or if you have an f- early flight, if you bring all of your luggage with you, you're first off the boat. It's so, like 7.30, I think, or something yeah. like that, you can leave the boat. So um, that that is an option. We just decided we were going to have to we were gonna have to wait for the bus. Um, our luggage oh, tags yeah. were green, so we were going to have to wait for everybody green to load up the bus anyway. So we did that. So. And that's what these luggage tags had different colors on them, and that's what they called them by color and you know all right you can uh, get off the ship go find your luggage so that's what we decided we decided to go ahead and put the green luggage tags out and we had it outside by 10 for our friendly cabin steward um so um it was daylight saving time in the state so we did move our clocks forward another hour hour. (laughs) and then we went to bed because we had a big we had an early morning we definitely couldn't sleep in and uh, so we went to bed and got some rest that's the uh, that's basically the end of the day eleven, the four C day. The final day um, is just basically disembarkment uh, off the ship, and uh, we'll cover that in the next episode. Yeah. Thanks for watching, everybody, and as always, we, we will, will see, see you in the, the next, next video. video.